My name is Emily Ladolce, and I'm the manager of the groundwater modeling section. And I'm Ryan Mitchell. I'm the chief hydrologist at AWM. A groundwater model is a computerized representation of a real world system. We use groundwater models to simulate the conditions in the aquifer, either present day conditions, uh, historical conditions when we are um, analyzing what happened in the past, or future conditions when we want to get an idea of what might happen in the future under a set of assumed supply and demand scenarios. The public uses our models to simulate their physical availability of groundwater when they want to apply for a certificate of assured water supply with the NAMA. So part of the criteria of obtaining a certificate is to show a 100 year avail physical availability of groundwater and models are the tools that you use to demonstrate that. The Assured Water Supply Program, which is one of the strongest consumer protection programs in the country, is simulated within the Phoenix AMA groundwater model. The Phoenix AMA model incorporates many different uh, analyses and certificates of assured water supply, and it takes all of them into consideration when looking into the future to make sure that any and all of the issued certificates are being honored and being protected by any future demand that might come in the future. What we see when we run the model out 100 years is that there are wells that do not get their full supply. And this is what we call unmet demand. The 100 year assured water supply projection of the new updated and recalibrated model showed that the assured water supply program is doing as it did it is protecting the existing uh, certificates that have been issued. It's looking into the future to uh, foresee any potential problems with where our growth is occurring, where people want to build homes. And this model is showing that on the outskirts of the model domain, where you're getting close to bedrock, shallow alluvium, uh, we start to see a decline in the water table that is uh, large enough to where the assured water supply is not guaranteed physically for 100 years. One of the great outcomes from this model is that at the end of 100 years, 96% of the water uses uh, that we project into the future are met. And that really tells you that the Assured Water Supply Program is working. Any of the issued certificates that have, that have already been approved, that people have been building on for the last couple of decades, all of the designated providers within the Valley, uh, they all still have room to grow. Uh, it's any additional growth in addition to the issued certificates, in particular outside of these developed areas where there are no designated providers, that is where you need to uh, make sure that you can show a different water portfolio than just red water.